Terry Fansa. I'm a part of the Seabrook Island Turtle Patrol and we spend all of our summers trying to protect the nesting and the hatching of the loggerhead turtle. This is a wonderful, wonderful thing to do and it's made me love the ocean even more than I ever did before. I now look at the ocean as the home to the loggerhead turtle amongst the many, many other sea creatures that live there. And there's, there's just no end to what we can learn about the ocean and how it affects our life, our universe, every day. My first memory of the ocean, I was in my 20s, the first time I saw the ocean, and I came up over a highway that gave me my first view of the Atlantic Ocean, and it took my breath away, and my expectations I had always had were more than met. I think the loggerhead turtles provide an excellent method to teach people about our environment, about preserving our environment, preserving our land, our oceans, our mountains, everything. The loggerhead is something very visible they can see. They can understand that this incredible creature that's been around since prehistoric times lives primarily on instincts. And they are born on a beach, and 20 some years later, they come back to that beach to lay their eggs. It, it teaches us that we must preserve these beaches, we must provide the environments that they need to come back to these homes, because if we destroy our lands and we don't do what we need to do, these loggerheads will, will stop reproducing. They'll have nowhere to go. Give them as much chance to get out on their own as we can, and then we open up the nest and we'll count the hatched eggs by looking at the shell bits. So when we communicate to the people who come and see our nests and, and watch us do things with our turtle nests, we educate, educate, educate. And it's been amazing to me in the past few years, the knowledge that people who are returning, sometimes just because they want to come back and see our turtles, they know everything. We, don't, we, don't, we just ask questions and see what they know because now they tell us what's going on. And through that, they take that home to all their communities in, in, across the country and sometimes in the world and they share that. And, and through that process, we feel that we are being able to reach out to everyone through a, 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 a remarkable um, creature. I think I cherish this work because it does give me a legacy to leave to my children and my grandchildren through example. And, and what I'm, I'm teaching and leaving to them is to appreciate and respect the earth the creatures on this earth and through that process they become better human beings they become more compassionate they become less materialistic and the times that i've spent with them in doing these types of things is something i hope will be memories they cherish forever i started with the turtle patrol i was usually the beach person um, because i was the one that woke up early in the day and People call me because they knew I was there. The turtles teach me something new every year. And the minute I think that I know something, I find out that there are 10 hundred other things that I don't know. And so they, they keep you guessing. And it's just when you see that first little hatchling and it's in the middle of your hand, it, it, it takes your heart away. It's, it makes all of the hours that you're on the beach and doing, it makes it worth it um, because you know that you're making a difference. And our numbers over the years are beginning to show that what we're doing on the beach is helping. We're getting more numbers, we're seeing more young adults out in the ocean that means in a couple of years they're going to be coming in as moms and that's rewarding in itself. A loggerhead starts out in a nest up in the soft dunes of the beach and, they're, and they have to dig their way out of the sand and then they have to, and it all happens at night, and they come down to the ocean, usually it's at high tide so they don't have too far to go, and they go in the ocean. And from where we are, they go into the Gulf Stream and the Sargassum 
grass beds that are in there. With the DNA testing, oh, we've been doing it for three years, and they found a mother and her daughter, and they were laying on the same night within about 75 yards of each other. We've got a wonderful organization with the Total Patrol now, and it is continuing to grow. And I just hope that my work with the Total Patrol can, and I can find people that have the passion that I do, that will continue, and this will be an ongoing saga for a number of people for all of